Of course, differentiation is always fun. It's fun to do calculus on the computer. So I'm just going to do this. I say y is equal to the sine of 3 times x plus the exponential of 3 or 5 times x plus x squared plus 1 over x. And I'm going to differentiate it with respect to x. Yay! Um, if I had an x, let's say z, let's say I had a multi thing here and z times and times z or whatever. Um, I could still say differentiate it with respect to x. Oh, z, sorry. I could still say differentiate it with respect to x and I would get some answer. I could also tell it to differentiate with respect to z and then it would give me a different answer so I can be very, very specific. Um, I'm assuming if I want a second derivative, I can just differentiate the differential. So <laughs> it doesn't get too much more exciting than this. So if I was going to do a differentiation, um, you know, I could, you know, call this my new value like um, d y d z. Yeah, I just call it that. I could say that's my new equation d y d z. And then if I wanted, I could do substitution. Everywhere I see a z, I want you to put a three, and then I could get in. Well, oops. Subs, I could get an answer, so I would actually be substituting that in. Remember that I could even put like x comma z is equal to 3 comma 5 if I want to plug in 3 for x and 5 for z. So I could differentiate, I can substitute things, and I can get pretty much any stupid answer that I want. And of course, if I want that in a um, whatever you call it, decimal form, I can just double it and get an answer. So differentiation. Um, then we have integration, and integration in a whole lot different. I'm just going to copy these because I'm lazy. Um, I think it's the word integrate. And it's going to automatically, oh, not int, maybe it's int. There we go. It's going to automatically integrate it um, with respect to x. But um, if I wanted to integrate it with respect to z, I can tell it to do so. It's Notice that there's not going to be like a plus c. You know, like when you integrate, there's always a plus c on it. It's always assuming that it's at a zero, so you're not going to have that um, constant. So my preference is always to say I'm going to integrate z, and I'm going to go from zero to, say, five. Um, or I can say I want to go from zero to um, some value. Z. So I can say I want to go from 0 to Z. Um, I can integrate with respect to X from 0 to 20. And that's, that's, that's just, gosh, it's so cute. That's about all there is to integration and differentiation. It's just um, plug it in. Now you can actually get away with just saying integrate Y. And it's going to automatically integrate it with respect to X. But I'm just saying for my sanity, I like to use the format. This is what I'm integrating. This is where I'm starting, or this is what I'm integrating with respect to. This is where I start, this is where I finish. This is the same um, syntax as for the TI-89. So if you're used to doing integration on the TI-89, it's going to be the exact same kind of syntax. So integration, differentiation, all that kind of stuff that you could ever possibly want to do. Um, now you can do symbolically in MATLAB.